Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming and welcome back to Fallout Friday and Fallout 4 Rebuild the Colonies. You join me here at Ten Pines Bluff because last time we actually managed to get Ten Pines Bluff mission finished. The first mission that Preston Garvey gives us in the game with uh, episode 5 and we finally managed to well, actually, episode four, we finished it, but episode five, and, and we're here, and we are done. And now this settlement belongs to us. It has joined the beautiful colony of Massachusetts, the, uh, the great British colony of Massachusetts. It, is, it has joined us here. It is part of our esteemed colonial nation. And uh, this time, what we got to do, we need to head back over to Sanctuary to hand the mission in to Preston and actually finish it, first and foremost. But while I'm here, what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to get to doing some scrapping. I'm going to get some stuff sorted and finished. Um, this settlement isn't big enough to actually warrant a specialization yet, but this is going to be one of our specialized settlements it's it's going to have a specific focus and it is not going to be farming i can i can promise you that but we are going to be moving into that it's a bit too early to be doing that right now anyway so we're not going to but what i'm going to do this um episode first of all like i said i'm going to get to do some scrapping i'm going to get this place set up i do ha need to head back over to abernathy because i forgot one very important feature when i was getting that place set up then we need to move to sanctuary hand this into preston and move on to our next task i'm probably going to be doing some strip mining I, I do need to get some of that done i need to like I said, there's a few places now, and I don't want them to build up. I don't want to, them to get on top of me, really, and then have to deal with the respawns and everything like that. So I'm going to do some strip mining of some places as well. Probably do that off camera. You don't need to see me doing that. There's no need to do that. Uh, and then we'll decide what we're going to do from there. But first and foremost, let's get to do some scrapping, shall we? And we've run into our first supply issue. So I am out of steel, which means I can't finish the fence and I won't be able to build any defenses for this place. Plus, also still need to put in a door at the back here. I've decided for the time being, I'm not going to um, wall round the farm either. Um, I'm just going to give them a separate entrance to that. They can they can deal with the farm themselves. That's fine. That's in the floor, right? That's not floating. A little bit. Can I sink that down a bit more? No. No, that won't sink. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to build around the farm for the time being. Um, mainly because I don't want this as a farm in the long run, so I don't really care um but yeah i need to put a door on here for security that's just so they, they can't get out to the farm um and then i was just basically walling in the structure the cooking station and the water and workbench that was basically all i was looking to do for the time being but yeah we've run out of steel so now i could scrap this and that but um I want to make it semi-realistic, uh, kind of immersive, you know, that they, they still need somewhere to cook, and even though they have this, this, they could stew stuff in, but sometimes you want to grill stuff. So, I mean, I could scrap literally everything and just leave them with a couple of sleeping bags in the open and stuff, but I want to make it kind of immersive you know i want this playthrough to kind of make sense as well like we haven't got to this point yet but there will be a point later on where certain conditions need to be met in order to move on to other settlements for instance i'll get more into that when we get to it we we haven't arrived at that point yet but um that's my whole 
philosophy is immersive to a certain extent. Now, I could also go around still scrapping everything here, but I don't think that would give me any more steel. There's nothing around here really that would give me more steel. Plus, I don't know what of these decorations and that I want to keep, what I want to lose and things like that, you know? So that's why I'm not doing that yet. But yeah, we've run into a supply issue. We can no longer finish here, which means that they are not quite as secure as we want them to be. But that's what I'm talking about with regards to the strip mining. I, I want to grab as much stuff as I can as early as I can before I start having all of the vendors and all of the money that I can go around hitting them all up for supplies and things. So yeah, we are, we're a little bit uh, shy on that front. So yeah, we have done all we can do here for the time being. Uh, we need to move on our way and head back towards Sanctuary and yeah, because I can't go over to Ten Pines Bluff and do uh, uh, Abernathy Farm and do what I need to do at Abernathy. Yeah, I haven't been able to do that. Why did you walk all the way around? There is literally a door. You guys are awkward. Um, so yeah, we are done here for the time being. We uh, need to head on our way and pick up some more supplies, it seems. What we are going to do on our way through actually is pick up that suit of power armor um because i said i needed to grab it anyway so it makes sense to go and grab it now while we're on our way through anyway as well and i might i'm not gonna go back through Olivia just yet what I'm going to do is I think can I get you not in one go apparently but you're not running so now you are right damn Okay, well, um, yeah, I'm going to swing back through the robotics yard. I think I got everything from in there. But I'm going to check. Um, as I go past anyway, because if I can grab some more stuff. Like, if I did leave anything there. It's a mole rat. I don't really need to mess with mole rats, do I? So, I'll leave that for the time being. But yeah, if I, um, if I did leave anything in there. Then, I should be able to pick it up now. But yeah, we're going to pick up this power armor suit. Can't take your helmet. Okay, um, yeah, we're going to pick up the suit of power armor while I'm here anyway, um, because like I said, we need uh, we need uh, to get our hands on as much power armor as possible. Um, again, this will be something that comes into play a little bit later on, but we'll explain that a little bit more as and when we get there. But I just wanted to grab this while I was on my way through. I'm going to swing back through the robotics disposal ground and see if there was anything that I left behind there that we can grab. I'm pretty sure there was another fusion core in there that I forgot last time. But we'll see if we can get it this time. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm just going to head back down to Sanctuary, get this mission sorted out, and then we should all be good. Also, what I think I'm going to do... Now, I know I can tell this guy to blow himself up. Um, and get another fusion core out of him. But what I am going to do is I'm going to tell him to go somewhere else
Maybe the Revere Satellite Array? Which, by the way, we're, we're going to be renaming when we, uh, when we head over in that way. It's, it's definitely not going to be called the Revere Satellite Array anymore. That, we're, we're, we're not naming our places after traitors. That's not happening. So we might call it the Churchill Satellite Array. But yeah, I think I'm going to get him to go over there because if I'm not following him, for what I know, he usually gets to the places he needs to go if I'm not with him. If I follow him, though, there is a very strong possibility that he's never going to make it there because it's a long way away and he's going to die on the way there. But if I send him there now and don't go with him, I'm sure I've done this before and he is there when I get there at some point. And that place is full of super mutants, so it would be handy to just have a sentry bot go in there and make a bit of noise and a bit of ruckus and maybe take out some of the mutant hounds and things like that. For what I know, that usually works. It's worked with me before in the past when I've sent him to other places from here. Now, sometimes he does die at Olivia, so you can't do that. Sometimes he dies on the way to Olivia, so you can't do that. But... If I send him there now, then hopefully he should be there when I get there to meet him in the future. And here we are, home sweet home, back at Sanctuary, where it all began. Now let's go and find ourselves a Preston. He's outside there, okay. And then... We should be able to get this mission completed. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great Not news. the Minutemen. They haven't joined the Minutemen. We need to, come on. We need to be ahead of this. Now, he's going to give me the flare gun. And this we are actually going to be using as the playthrough goes through. Maybe not so much in the early game because we're not really going to have a lot of the... Um, the settlements in in order to actually make it worthwhile but once we have quite a few settlements on the map the flare gun is actually gonna start becoming a bit of use for us we're actually going to actually start using it in this run through because i want to try and use all of the tools at my disposal so um anyway yeah uh what happened to the Minutemen? go ahead i'm listening have you heard of the quincy massacre uh, no, I, I, I have not. What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us. And the folks in Quincy. Only a few okay. of Okay. And that's why uh, you shouldn't, uh, you know, actually so be I trying to rebuild the Minutemen because they're pretty useless up. and, you know, not very reliable. So that we that we will not be reestablishing the Minutemen. The Minutemen are not going to be um, what we're going to do. So we are actually going to say good riddance to them, yeah. Sounds like it's time for the Minutemen to vanish for good. No, I don't accept that. The Commonwealth needs the Minutemen. Now, more than ever. We just need better leaders. Leaders who will put the good of the Commonwealth ahead of their own little group. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. This is this is the thing. I've literally just told you that I, I, I think it's time for the Minutemen to go away. So if you are going to put me in charge, Preston, there's going to be big changes, trust me. I, I don't know the first thing about the Minutemen. That doesn't matter. The Minutemen of the last few years are gone, and nobody's going to miss them. We don't need any more petty politics or squabbling over resources or arguing over who has seniority. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. 
You know what? I think you're right, Preston. I think you're right. But, uh, not the kind of leader that you're thinking of. Uh, I think okay. we are going to be I'll a different it. type Good. of leader. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Miniman and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. General, yeah, that's, uh, that, that title's not going to fit. Um, I'm no general. You're going to have to get used to it. The leader of the Miniman has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Miniman is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Awkward silence. Our scouts have found a promising spot for the <laughs> settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it. And there you go. Yeah. So he's going to ask us to take stra uh, Starlight Driving, which is why I didn't want to do it last time because I can get the XP for it this way as well. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we're, we're, we'll set up the radio beacon, but we're not going to turn it on because I don't actually want people going there yet. But yes. He has put me in charge. He has made me the general, but uh, let's just say it's not going to be staying like that for long. Uh, let's get this power armor off because I don't really want to be burning through the fusion cores. So that can stay there for the time being. And what I do need to do... No, don't enter it. I don't want you to enter. Press the wrong button. Get out. And then... Take the fusion core. Because, yes, I, uh... I forgot to do that last time. And, uh... That can lead to... People stealing your power armor. So... Yes. See, I left this one in here by accident. But, uh, we'll take this one back over there as well. Like I said, we are, we are going to be wanting to collect power armors, but uh, it's, it's not something we need to worry about just yet. But as and when we find power armors, we do want to take them, we do want to keep them. And also, when enemies have power armors, we do want to try and take out the fusion cores so that they actually get out of them now i know that you can buy frames um i get that and we probably will have to do that at some point but much like getting as much uh, scrap and junk as possible i don't want to be burning money on power armor frames when we can get them for free if we just take out the fusion cores of the suit and then the enemies get out of them and then that is a free piece of power armor that we can get our hands on which is going to become very handy in future uh right now that we've got that done i do want to go and dump my junk in here so that we have the carry weight then what i am going to do is i think I'm going to start the strip mining process and take the power armor and go around and start doing a little bit more junk hoarding. Take that back over to Ten Pines Bluff. Then we need to sort out Abernathy Farm. Uh, and then maybe we'll go and take out Starlight Driving, get that under our belts as well. So that is what I'm going to do now. I am going to go and see about grabbing as much stuff as i can while we're here i'm gonna to go to vault 111 and get the stuff everything from in there first and foremost and then we'll uh probably head back down to concord and i'll try and clear out concord as well um and then we need to do olivia and corvega at some point as well don't we so but if i can knock a couple off now so i don't have to worry about them then I can cross them off my list. I don't need to go back to them again, and I don't care if things respawn in there. So I'm going to get that done quickly now. 
What I am going to do though is I'm going to try and not use the power armor just while I'm walking around. Now I'm not in survival mode so I'm not going to take damage if I'm over encumbered, that's fine. I just want to use this so that I can try and get back to uh, Sanctuary as quickly as possible. Um, but I may end up being over encumbered even with the suit on as well. So uh, I'm, I'm just going to go around and collect out of the suit just to save the fusion cores basically. Huh. The security baton respawns. I didn't know that. Pretty cool. You can come back down and get uh, another security baton. Pretty cool. I didn't know that. Right, this is clear. Uh, not actually much in here. It's uh, it's mainly just uh, a lot of uh, glass and ceramics that you can grab. Um, I did get some more ammo for a few of my guns, which is uh, pretty decent. But... Um, yeah, mainly just uh, glass bottles and cups, mugs, things like that. So, not a huge amount, but uh, Vault 111 is now completely um, strip mined. So, we haven't got to worry about that at all anymore. So, that is done completely. Just going to do the outskirts of it now as well. Uh, Deacon's uh, hiding place and... Um, the security bunker and stuff so uh yeah just uh gonna look at our flag waving in the distance there lovely uh yep just gotta do around here now um and then yeah vault 111 is pretty much completely done and i'm pretty sure everyone knows what i'm talking about but just in case you know because some people don't do this on playthroughs uh yeah there's a little railroad spot here um just outside uh, Vault 111 and Sanctuary. This is what I was talking about when I said Deacon's hide in place. Just some water and stuff that you can grab here, but you know, it is a railroad symbol, so it's uh, it's led to believe that this is this is a place of interest for the railroad at least. Who knows why? I don't know, but um, it is a place of interest apparently for them. Okay, I'm out of ammo for that. You coming back? No? Not interested in me, apparently, no? Okay, fair enough. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I forgot you did that. <laughs> that was silly of me. Completely forgot that they did that. How many are there? I only saw one. Am I still... No, apparently I'm good now. Okay. I'm guessing there's more down there, but there's a couple of little extra bits that I wasn't expecting, so that's good. But yeah, just an interesting little spot in case no one's ever shown you it on one of their playthroughs before. Right, so that is everything around Vault 111 done. That is Vault 111 and the surrounding areas completely clear. Check that off of our list. It is all completely done. We do not need to go back there again. There is nothing up there. The cryolator is up there, but I'm not too bothered. I'm not too worried about that. I mean, we can go back and get that at some point and scrap it for its components, but I'm not going to be using it, so it's really not a problem. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head down to Concord and get Concord all done and dusted. And then what I am going to do from there is I am going to head over to Starlight Drive-In, get that done. Hello, can I please? Hello? No? Okay, we'll take that then. Um, yeah, I'm going to head over to Starlight Drive-In, get that done, get that finished. Uh, and then, like I said, we're not going to set that up yet uh, I because I don't want anyone there just yet. So we're not going to be... Um, we're not going to be setting that up just for the meantime. But uh, yeah, that is what I think I'm going to do today. We are going to finish off Concord and then head over to Starlight Drive-In. And uh, I think we will call it a day there. Huh, this is odd. This is the... Uh, this is a random spawn location, but... Uh, Nothing has spawned here. That's very bizarre. I think that's the first time I've ever encountered that. Coming to a location and uh, nothing being here. 
Very bizarre, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Oh, wait a minute. I think these guys might be the... The random spawn. Okay. I stand corrected. There was a... There was a spawn here. After all, it was just these... Two random dead guys. Do you remember in Fallout 3 where... Uh, item degradation was a thing? So you could pick up as much stuff as you wanted and then well i mean you you would get obviously weighted out eventually but you could combine items as well do you remember do you remember those days so like if i had quite a few of the same type of gun for instance and i was over encumbered like this i could combine the items together to uh, to make one better one. Those were good times, weren't they? Okay. Concord is clear. I have stripped it bare. I have taken everything I possibly can from every possible location. Uh, now I'm going to make my way slowly across to Starlight Drive-In. And uh, there we will be able to hopefully dump off a lot of this weight. And we should be back in good shape now i am gonna have to kill all the mole rats in this condition first and foremost unfortunately but uh yeah needs a must right that's uh that's the style of play that we've gone for that is the style of play that i need to live with so yes it's gonna take me a while to get there um i'll see you when i get there Okay, so we finally made it. Now, I'm not sure the best way to do this. Now, if I get close enough, they might just wake up and then Maybe I can drop a frag grenade in there. Blow up some of these cars. Maybe I could blow up a car. Anyway, and that might do some damage. Just trying to avoid pain and annoyance because of the over encumberedness of this so what i think i might do is i might see if i can try and blow up the cars and hopefully my shooting will wake them up let's give that a go and then hopefully if I can get the cars to explode. See, now, none of them have popped out. What about if I drop a frag grenade in there? Not that one, that one. Is that going to be enough to... Right, that's woken them up. It's woken one up anyway. But it wasn't enough to set a car off, was it? No. I was hoping that the frag grenade would have set the car off I don't even think I'm doing anything to it how comes cars are so easy to explode when you don't want them to but then when you do want them to they become almost impossible yeah like, I haven't done anything there. No. 
Why are these cars not exploding? What the hell? Right, I'm going to see what else I can do and then get back to you. Ah, there we go. Finally got one to go. So hopefully, the explosion to this should wake some of them up. And then that should give me a chance to pick them off from here, hopefully. When it eventually goes. It will go. There we go. Did that wake any up? It didn't, did it? Bloody hell. Right, okay. I guess I'm going to have to go in, oh no. That's very frustrating and annoying. Just because, yeah, I can't outrun them because over encumbered. And they're quite fast. Now, if I can get up there without waking any of them up or I do want to wake them up but I don't want them to spot me that's the point like, so if they can actually like wake up then that would be very helpful Right, they detected me, so they definitely know I'm here. Let's see if I can get something going again. Nope. Trying to get cars to explode is very difficult. Oh, I don't have a lot of ammo. There we go. Right, okay. I'm going to switch back to my other uh gun so that where was i where i'm trying to talk over the music as well because i know that that's going to get me in trouble otherwise so trying to make sure that i keep that to a minimum right okay that killed one as well so that killed you did that set that car off because what I want to do is chain. Where is the radio? Is it down? It's down there, isn't it? I can't get down there. I want to. No, that didn't. That didn't set this car off. See, I would have thought that would be close enough that it could. It would set it off. But apparently not. See, they know I'm here because they're detecting me. But they're, they're, they're being too smart for me. They're not coming out, which is a bit frustrating. I was hoping that they'd all pop out. No, they're not. They're, oh, damn it, these mole rats are being too smart for me. I'm being outwitted by a bloody mole rat. God damn it. Right, okay, I've got one to pop out. Hooray, one. Now, it knows where I am. There we go. Right, that's one. <sighs> Just got to keep going and hope that, that I can wake the rest of them up now. Now, these ones, I'm pretty sure you can't explode, right? This one, maybe? This one, probably. Because I know that some of them explode, some of them don't. And I, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's the level of rust, maybe? Okay, I'm guessing that one won't either. This one looks very rusty, so I'm assuming that this one won't either, right? No. No. Right, which means it makes me think that none of these none of these other ones are gonna explode now. So that means that I need to go down on the ground and do it myself, don't I? Damn. Okay, right. 
Right, one's popped out over there. I saw him. Okay. Now they're all out. That's very annoying. Why didn't any of you come out while I was up there, huh? 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 That's very frustrating. Where are you? Oh, you're there. Any more? Oh, is that it? Oh, okay, cool. Now, I know that there's stuff in the back down there, obviously, but I'm not too worried about that for the time being. I'm, uh... I'm okay leaving that as it is for the moment because I don't need to go down there to I, I, I'm not I'm not claiming well I am claiming it but I'm not going to be building or anything here right now so it's not really a major issue to leave it with enemies here because I'm not going to have any settlers here at the moment. I'm, I'm going to build the recruitment beacon. And then that is basically it. I'm just going to turn it off again. Um, I'm not... I, I just want to complete the mission. This place is not going to be built in for a while yet. So we don't have any major rush to scrap anything here. To clear this place out of all of the enemies to get it in a shape where people can live here that is not my major concern right now so i don't care that there's stuff living in the back over there that is tomorrow's problem that is future richard's issue and he should be in more than good enough shape to deal with it by the time that comes around and there you go. Uh, I have completed the mission. Uh, let me just show you. So, talk to Preston Garvey. Build and activate recruitment beacon. Clear dry starlight driving has already been done. So, I have built the beacon. There it is. Uh, I've literally turned it straight off again because I do not want anyone here. And what I am going to do now is I'm going to store that and store that and now we are done that is uh, all i wanted to do we have no need to do anything else what we are going to do is we're going to head back to sanctuary oh uh, ignore that by the way i've um yeah when i was clearing out concord i uh i took all of my armor off to store it for weight purposes while i was in the museum of freedom clearing that out because i didn't want to keep making multiple trips so um yeah just ignore the fact that uh, i wasn't wearing anything there but uh yeah we're gonna head back to sanctuary and we are gonna go and talk to preston and we're gonna get that mission completed and here we go back home again now i just gotta find preston where are you my good man over there. Oh, okay. What were you and Mama Murphy doing in there, huh? Oh, you dirty dog. Uh, anyway, you, come here. I need to talk to you. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. Yeah, no one's going there at the moment, though, Preston, I'm afraid. So, um, yeah, that's not something that we need to worry about right now. But there we go. Uh, we have done Starlight Drive-In. That's good. He has just given me another quest to do, Overland Station. Uh, we will get round to that eventually. Don't know if that'll be next time or not, but we will get round to it. I need to go through my armor, decide what armor I would like to start using from here, and also need to go through my weapons and decide which weapons I want to keep, 
which ones are worth upgrading and keep moving in that direction as well. So lots of stuff that I need to do and be getting on with. Uh, and then we will continue on our merry little journey. But yes, we have now cleared out Vault 111. We have now cleared out Concord completely. Need to go back to Olivia and Corvega. But uh, yeah, got a couple more settlements under our belt as well starlight driving like i said is going to be something a little bit special we don't need to worry about that right now need to head back over to abernathy because there's something i forgot to do there and of course we need to finish the wall and defenses over at ten pines bluff as well so lots that we need to be getting on with but I have been recording for a very long time, even though this episode is so far only 41 minutes long, I've been recording for a lot longer than that. It takes a long time to do the strip mining, especially when you're over encumbered a lot. And it takes a long time to travel between places and things like that as well. But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed what we have done here today. Hopefully you will enjoy what we continue to do next time. But until then, I want to bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GG to you all. Thank you everybody for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Then check out the video suggested for you or watch this playlist to discover more from the channel. This has been a Rich Tea Entertainment production.